Hey College Success, this is your video for your chapter three assignments in particular. So this is for week three, chapter three assignments. So I will be discussing your discussion board, your text and skill sheet, and then your quiz. There will be a separate video for your chapter four assignments. Okay, so first let's go ahead and talk about your discussion board for this week. Your week three attendance post is due by Wednesday, June 22nd. So you want to make sure that you post in your discussion board by Wednesday for week three attendance. Again, if you ever miss the attendance post, please do not think you just completely missed those points. You can still post and get partial attendance. So let's say Thursday afternoon, all of a sudden it hits you that you didn't post in the discussion board. You can still go in and get partial credit. Also, as a reminder to be interacting with classmates, I have been keeping track as you respond. Remember, a response is a meaningful response, not just one or two words, but maybe asking your classmate a question or responding to a question they pose, like week two was a great example of this. What your prompt said, you know, what is a question you have? And a lot of you posted questions and then I was able to read through how some of you responded to your fellow classmates and that was great to see that interaction. So please make sure that you are also interacting with your classmates. You wanna do that a minimum of 10 times throughout the semester. Feel free to do so more than that, but at least 10 times. Okay, so your post this week is going to be connected to chapter four because it's a vocabulary type question. Um, so that's why you're gonna see it talk about vocabulary. It says, in this form, describe how you typically build vocabulary as you read. How important will vocabulary be in your field? So how do you build vocabulary? Do you stop and look up words? Do you have a like a vocabulary journal? Do you use like any kind of dictionary or any kind of apps? or hard copy, uh, to kind of build up that vocabulary knowledge? Do you work within your content area to build vocabulary? And then how important is vocabulary in your field? Depending on your field, you have to know a lot of vocabulary. Thinking about you, medical students in particular, uh, but every field has its own jargon, its own vocabulary that is specific to that field. So how important is vocabulary in your area? All right, so make sure you post that original response by Wednesday for week three. It's Attendance. Okay, so your chapter three assignments, you have your text and skill sheet and you have your vocabulary quiz. So again, I am in week three to submit folder. So I'm going to open up my text and skill sheet. Again, you need Microsoft Office for this. If you're trying to do this in Microsoft, um, sorry, Google Docs, it may not always translate well. It just depends on what browser and device you're using. Microsoft Office is the best to use compatibility wise. If you do not have it and you need it, please let me know. You get it for free as a student and I can show you how to, to access that information. All right, text and skill sheet for chapter three. I have it pulled up down here. All right, so hopefully at this point you've already watched the chapter three lecture video because this first part references things we talked about in that video. So these first five questions all go through chapter three, kind of the concepts of this chapter, organizing academic, academic information, annotating, outlining, Cornell notes, those kind of things. So if you haven't watched that video or taken a look at your chapter three, please go ahead and pause, go do that, and then come back to this video or come back to that assignment. All right, so the first five questions, how can you use active study process while reading? What is the importance of good notes? How should you annotate effectively? What are the benefits of Cornell notes? And then what strategy from this chapter is most helpful for you? So these first four, obviously you can kind of peruse through here and you know, here's annotating, here's Cornell notes, you know, the active study process is in here. So you can go straight to the source for those questions. And then the very last question is obviously you. What is beneficial to you? Is Cornell notes beneficial? are um, note taking in the form of concept mapping beneficial. So just kind of look and think about that. All right, the next three sections actually relate to the reading selections. So part 2A says read selection one. So you can get to it if you go here. Scrolling down, selection one, business communications. I really like this reading. Um, it's having to do with like marketing. So the name of it is called Marketing Tasty Fun and Dashing Speed. And it's kind of like how marketing is done in different countries, specifically in China. I think it's a really interesting read. But you're gonna read this selection. Again, it's not terribly long and I think it's 
fun. Um, after you read that selection, you are asked to answer the following check your comprehension questions. One, three, four, five, six, ten. So make sure you're not just going one, two, three, four, five. It's pulled out specific questions. One, three, four, five, six, ten. So you've read the selection, so you'll scroll down a little bit more. Here's check your comprehension. And it is going to ask you questions that relate to the main idea of the selection, the main idea of a certain paragraph, making inferences, like what, what is there that's not directly stated? Another inference question, another inference question. And then number 10 is the purpose. Why do you think the author writes this? So that is part 2A based on the marketing tasty fun and dashing speed. Part 2B is read selection 2. So this one is, I think, very pertinent to every single one of you because this is called managing stress. And especially as a college student, I mean, as a human, we have stress, but then as a college student, we have a lot more stress. So this talks about managing stress in college specifically. So this is really relevant to all of you in here. And so this goes through and it talks about different stress management techniques. So read that selection. And then instead of answering specific like multiple choice questions, it says, which of the strategies for coping with stress do you think would work best for you and why? So it's short answer. So don't just tell me this strategy and then no explanation. Tell me why. It says, you know, couple sentences, at least two complete sentences. So please make sure you answer in at least two complete sentences. All right. And then part C is selection three. So we'll go and we'll click on selection three, criminal justice. This is a police DNA collection sparks question. So this is kind of like a, it's criminal justice, but it has some like ethical implications. And another for me, interesting read, I like all three of the readings in this particular chapter. So it goes through and it talks about like these these ethical questions as it relates to collecting DNA and what should or should not be allowed in that process. So you'll read this selection. And again, you're going to answer some check your comprehension questions. So you'll scroll and read and after you're done, check your comprehension questions. You're gonna answer, as you can see, it's questions one, two, three, five, six, ten. 10. So one is a main idea question that is asking, how would you summarize the entire article? Number two is a detail question, specifically like a detail part of that. Number three, another detail question. So again, for these, you might just have to go back into the selection if you can't remember off the top of your head. Five is asking about a specific section main idea. How would you summarize just that particular section? Number six is what can you infer? What can you derive from this particular area that they're discussing? And number 10 is another inference question. When you are done, Please make sure you save this. I talked about this in previous videos, you know, file, save as, wherever you like to save your documents. And then when you get back into here, you are going to go into the Dropbox. Make sure, and this is due by Sunday, browse your files, click, hit open, and then you'll hit submit. Okay, so that is your chapter three text and skill sheet. Again, it's on your calendar, it's in your syllabus, that is due by Sunday the 26th. And then your last chapter three assignment, remember chapter four I will do in a different video. Chapter three is your vocabulary quiz. So I'm gonna pull up your vocabulary quiz. If you have not already watched your vocabulary video, you might wanna do that to make sure that you understand all the vocabulary. But this is going to look just like your chapter one and chapter two vocabulary quizzes. Okay, so part A is correct or incorrect. Remember, just putting the word not in front of something does not correct the sentence. Just like wasn't, didn't, those are all forms of the word not. So keep the underlined word the same. I mean, you can certainly change, you know, neurologist to neurology or, um, you know, elaborate to elaborated, things like that. That's fine. But I promise you, not all of these are correct. I had a couple people tell me that all five were written correctly. They're not. Um, in this one, I'll even tell you there's only one that's okay. The rest you have to do something with. You have to rewrite the sentence in some way. So please make sure that you are doing that. Correct the sentence to make sure they're using the word properly. Do not replace the underlined word. Just correct the rest of the sentence. Part B is short answer. Just make sure you answer the question. The first one is started for you, not done for you. It's started to so make sure you answer the rest of it. And then part C is just fill in the blank. You will not use all of these, but make sure that you put the correct answer and read it out loud after you're done. 
after you plug in your answer, read the sentence out loud to make sure it makes sense because sometimes when I see an answer in there, I'm like, man, if they just read that out loud, they would have heard that it didn't quite fit. And then again, you will file, save that, take it into your Dropbox, and that is also due by Sunday. All right, I will be back later with another video that goes over chapter four specific assignments. Bye.